I don't mean to scare anyone with the title of this video, okay? <laughs> or with this video in general. I know that the title is very like, whoa, okay, calm down. Um, but that's for good reason and you'll find out why in this video. Um, and also, I'm sorry that I'm overexposed. I know that I look like Casper the Friendly Ghost right now. Trust me, I have tried to address my blinds every which way, but I know I'm just gonna be overexposed for the entirety of the video and I can only apologize for that. So, <laughs> if you've never seen my face before, hi, my name's Anna, I'm a third year. I'm a graphic design student at the University of Bolton. And um, this is gonna be a brutally honest advice video about the university experience in general, okay? So if you're going to university this year, or if you're already at university, you might be able to relate to this, but especially if you're going to university this year, I sh very strongly feel like you should be watching this video to the end and heeding the advice that I'm, that I'm about to give. Because there se there's essentially gonna be a lot of people going into the, to the university experience with rose-tinted glasses on, and I'm basically here to take those off and burn them, all right? <laughs> because they need to be burned. So, yeah. And again, I hope I'm not scaring you because that last statement was a bit scary, but um, again, for good reason. So, <laughs> so as I say, this is gonna be a general advice video about the university experience in general, um, but it's gonna be brutally honest because I feel like it needs to be. Oh, and by the way, I don't usually make like these really serious, like brutally honest videos. I, like, I don't always give like such hard hitting facts. Uh, most of the time it is very just a laid back kind of lifestyle, student life, glow up content. Um, so if you're interested in that kind of thing, things like what I eat in the days or student life or just general random energy because this is Anna is random, and um, then by all means hit the hit that subscribe button um, because that's what I'm here to do is entertain you, usually with way more lighthearted content than what this video is. But I felt <laughs> a very strong urge to make this video, so obviously that means that it's going to be going out to some of you guys for a reason. So if this video found you, then as I say, watch to the end because it's very important. I feel that people. <laughs> The, that people hear this advice and take it on because I don't I don't want any of you going through what I've been through over the past three years essentially so uh, yeah I'm here to prepare you so without any further ado let's get you prepared for university <laughs> in a very brutally honest savage way there's gonna be several chapters to this video so by all means check the timestamps in the description if you want to know about specific areas of the university experience I'm gonna touch on uh, but yeah, without any further ado, let's start with the first chapter that I'm going to talk about, which is social life. <laughs> and I thought this was a very um, apt chapter to start on, or like a good topic to start on. Because obviously when you first go to university, you have freshers week and you're meeting all these new people and you know, if you're me, if, you, if you're anything like me when I was 18, you're like, oh yay, I'm gonna make all these new friends and it's gonna be great. And if you're like me and you came from not having many friends or not having a lot of social life, you know, you think, oh, but you go to university and you meet all these people and everything changes miraculously, woohoo. Um, I'm basically here to tell you that's not the case necessarily for everyone um, and that's okay because uh, this is gonna be a theme throughout this video. Everything happens for a reason. Okay, sometimes it can feel like, well, this is a dumpster fire. Um, this is not how I thought it was gonna be. Great, brilliant, now I'm lonely. So I'm basically gonna tell you that some people go off and they find all these new friends or they go to university with friends they already have and then they make new friends and they have all these big friendship groups and they have lots of fun or at least it seems that way on Snapchat and Instagram. And you know, that that is the life for some people. So if you're the type of person who that's most likely gonna be the scenario that you're going into, then by all means, good luck to you. You're very lucky. However, <laughs> for the other group of people for whom that is not going to be the case, okay? Um, I'm basically here to tell you that that is okay. All right? If you have like any Facebook groups or anything for your accommodation, your course, just your cohort in general, join every Facebook group for freshers that you can, okay? Join them all because trust me, they're gonna be the most easy way to meet people even before you even move to university, okay? However, just because you meet people on Facebook and you get along with people and you know, you start talking to them, when you meet them in person, don't always expect for them to be the same way they were on Facebook, 
because trust me, people, after literally a week, in my case, can show their true colours and be kind of snaky. So when you meet people, and I think I've, I've, said, I've said this in another video where I talked about tips before university, I'll leave that in the cards. Don't trust first impressions, okay? Like, side-eye everyone. Basically, have trust issues, <laughs> okay? <laughs> if you don't already have trust issues from previous trauma, then uh, get trust issues now because you're gonna need them in order to protect yourself, okay? From potentially snaky people. And that goes even from the friends that you have throughout your university experience, okay? Constantly be analyzing how they make you feel. Are they putting you in any, in any situations where you feel uncomfortable? You know, I'm gonna be honest about this, YouTube don't kill me. People do drugs at university, they do, and if you're not a fan of that, if by all means, if you're down for getting high on the devil's lettuce or whatever, then by all means, go ahead, enjoy yourself. Do illegal activities, I don't care as long as you're not hurting anyone. If you're not comfortable with that and you have a friend who is comfortable with that, boundaries okay basically what i meant by that is be very wary okay if there's an environment where substances are being used get out of that yes because i don't want people getting mental health conditions okay please don't just don't breathe anything in don't breathe anything in trust me on this one get out of the environment okay ventilation yeah Look up causes for depersonalization disorder and you'll know what I mean. So, moving on. <laughs> and this is another point, despite if, even if they're not doing illegal, illegal activities, boundaries are very, very important. Talking from personal experience here, do not allow yourself, especially if you're coming from someone who, you know, hasn't had a lot of friends in the past or hasn't had a lot of luck socially, do not allow yourself to be lulled into a false, false sense of security where you essentially lose yourself. Okay, um, as I said, constantly be analysing the friendships, analysing how they feel, are they putting you in any situations where you don't feel comfortable, are they listening to your opinions, your views, are you feeling supported by them, just constantly be asking yourself these questions, okay, because you may have thought that in the beginning, but as time goes on, things might change, and just because you seem to be happy in a friendship, I think things might change and they might turn out to be quite kind of toxic, so as I say, be wary of people you meet at university because they're not always friends for life, okay? There's this big thing about, oh, you're gonna meet friends for life at university. I had a friend at university, I had a friend at home and I lost both of them at the end of 2021. So, <laughs> just saying, that is not always the case, okay? So if you meet people, if you end up with not a massive social life or none in my case, then that is okay. Do not panic. People who, who, who are meant to be in your life, who are healthy and who are meant to be there and be your support group will come to you eventually, okay? Do not panic if your bezzy mates for life, like don't, <laughs> don't panic if you don't meet your maid of honour or your best man for your wedding at university. Don't panic. Don't think it's the end of the world. Let's move on to the next topic. Moving on from social life, or you know, lack thereof, in that case. Okay, hobbies, okay? Hobbies outside of university are going to be your best friend, okay? And will potentially save your mental health. We're gonna get on to mental health in a bit, but will potentially save your mental health. This is something I've only just got into, like got back into in my last year. For instance, as a as a child, as a younger person, I was I really liked drawing, I really liked art. We did a lot of image based stuff in my A level graphic design course. And uh, moving into the university course, we don't do a lot of like image based stuff, okay? So I basically abandoned art and drawing and painting and all that stuff behind and it's only just occurred to me this year <laughs> at the start of 2022 that I, I need to get back into that so that's something I've started doing there's a sketchbook right there that I've been using <laughs> um and there's projects I'm working on that I'm gonna announce at some point that involves art and stuff but if you have a childhood hobby something you enjoyed before you went to university or something like keep that going please keep that going okay don't abandon it 
don't get so so hyper fixated on like the university experience or university work in general or you know your chaotic social life um, you know please keep something that can be time for yourself and if your hobby is going out clubbing at university then fair enough you do you if you have the friends to do that and you don't mind getting drunk or whatever oh and side note if you don't drink like me don't do not let anyone pressure you into drinking it's the same with drugs it's the same with anything else going back to the toxic friendship thing do not let ev don't do not let anyone pressure you into anything okay stand your ground ba boundaries we were talking about boundaries weren't we boundaries okay you do not have to drink to have a good time okay you can be sober and have a great night out i've done it many many, many times it's fine all right <laughs> but yeah hobbies keep your hobbies and keep them as a form of self-care moving on <laughs> so i mentioned like not getting too bogged down with university work and not letting it take over your life but also it's important to remember if other aspects like the social life of the university experience isn't going too well for you or if you don't necessarily like the area now that you now, now 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 that you're living there, you're there to get a degree. You're not necessarily there to, as I say, make friends for life or have the best time ever. Okay, you are there to get a qualification. So just remember that. If everything else is a dumpster fire, just remember this is why I'm here. This is <laughs> what you know I need to focus on. But also, you know, self care looking after your own mental health but at the same time it's it's just a little thing to remind yourself like you know this is what you're there to do um also if you don't really have many like extracurricular things like for instance if your university doesn't have the best students union calling out bolton um but if your university doesn't have many societies or a great students union as i say the social life isn't that great then again just remind yourself it's fine i'm here to get a degree I have my hobbies, I have my me time, you know, really, really use it as an opportunity to learn about yourself and also get a qualification. So yeah, that's just a little reminder to keep in your head if everything else is going a bit wrong. <laughs> now then, okay, so then this is probably the toughest bit is um, if you don't arm yourself correctly, like if you don't take on the advice I'm trying to give you in this video or you don't listen to what everyone else is saying because there are other videos similar to this one, if you don't listen to those, you don't arm yourself properly, you don't prepare yourself properly, uh, and even so, if you do, just in general, uh, be prepared for the biggest mental health struggle you will go through in your entire life. It's bound to happen unless you are one of the lucky few who has like this sunshine and rainbows experience that's all glitter and whatever, then by all means you're very lucky, but for the majority of us, okay, university is, as I say, going to be the biggest mental health struggle of your life and be, be prepared for that, okay, because it sucks, but at the same time, and this is moving on to the next point, you will grow so much as a person during those three years you will not even recognize the person like for going from year to year you're not going to recognize the person you were in the previous year trust me okay but you know and uh, as i said at the beginning of this video this isn't meant to scare anyone or put you off going to university okay i just want you to know that you need to embrace the challenge and accept how much you're going to grow as a person because it's good self growth self growth is always good self development is always a good thing no matter how you go through it okay life throws us all sorts as i'm sure you already know so that's that's gonna increase by like tenfold when you go to university okay so just embrace the challenge accept how much you're gonna grow as a person and enjoy it because because as much as these past three years for me personally have been the most challenging of my life i am so incredibly grateful that i went to university and that i experienced all these things because of how much i grew as a person and how much i've learned about myself and how much i've learned about the world around me my brain especially we talk a lot about mental health on this channel to the reason to subscribe um <laughs> so like for instance as i say as much as the, they've been challenging and brutal I, i've been able to pick myself up and find the courage and the motivation to start building a better life for myself outside of university and everything that I've experienced and all the toxic people that I've had to cut out. I've really been able to just separate myself from that past life and start building a new one and also I mean as much as was outside university I've been able to find someone to build a life with. Love you Patty. But because, because I was able to 
really think outside university and think outside the university experience, which was definitely not what I've been told it was going to be. And because I was able to separate that and really focus on myself and start building a life for myself, that's really what made my time at university in these past three years what they are and I am incredibly grateful that I went to university and experienced all this because without it I wouldn't know where I, where I would be now. I've also stopped relying on, on other people which is something that I hope all of you will learn if you haven't already is stop relying on what other people think of you stop caring about their opinions, stop relying on people in general, okay? Because the only person you're gonna need in your life is you at the end of the day. So really focus on what you want and the life you want and start building that for yourself because there's gonna be some people who don't like that and don't wanna support you anymore and really just don't wanna see you do well and will belittle anything you get happy about or get excited about and you know, all these things. Cut them, cut, cut those people out just like I did, cut those people out. And if I can say that the university experience should be anything for anyone, as I say, it, sh it should be an, an opportunity, as I've said, to grow as a person and to learn more about yourself and really start building that future for yourself. Because at the end of the day, it's your life and you're the only one who can really build it. So take what you've learned from the university experience and start building. You're capable of building a bloody empire, so start building the foundations. So, we were talking about those rose-tinted glasses at the beginning of the video, okay? Have you, have you thrown them in the bin now? Is that bin on fire? Good. Okay, because you, you don't need them. You don't need all the people telling you, university is the best time of your life. You, you know, you're gonna meet the people you're gonna be to spend the rest of your life with. Okay, because that's not always the case and that's okay because you don't need those rose tinted glasses, okay? Your eyes do the job just fine. So, good luck for university. You can do this. And I'll see you guys in the next one.